welcome to another tutorial with Aaron. Um, today we're going to be continuing with our key. Uh, we're doing a new key. The uh, previous lesson we learned on F sharp or G flat. So today we are moving to A flat or G sharp. All right. So um, this is how it's going to be. We'll do the scale, the fingering, and then we'll form chords. The next lesson will be on the inversion of chords and then after the inversion of chords we will do progressions after this key it will be left with only one key and we would have finished with all the 12 keys for uh, major triads and minor triads in all the keys and then uh, the diminished chords that are in the seventh uh, note all right so i would like to talk to you about my website uh, love world music training center uh, it's a website that has been done for musicians. Uh, we will be posting videos on bass guitar, piano, drum lesson, acoustic. I would like you to go there, visit, register, and then wait for more updates. And also, um, the description is going to be in the link below so you can go there and then register and every lesson on this website is for free you're not going to be paying for anything all right so let's get into it these are the notes uh, in the scale this note one note two three four five six seven are the notes in the scale so um, you have a flat b flat c c sharp e flat f g and then back to a flat all right so let's do the finger positionings you have So let's do for the left, the left two. So it's a three, two, one, four, three, two, one. try the two together we're gonna have all right so that's it for the skill and then the finger position so you try that till you become you know much perfect in it so let's begin with the chords since we know the notes this one two three four five six seven one let's continue with the chord formation chord one which is also your do chord is a one three five so one three five Do the same for the left. All right. So a chord two. So it's a two, four, six, re, fa, and then la. Okay. Then back to. No. 
from a code. We already know uh, a third note is always a minor note, and we are in C. We've done C major already, so you just flatten the third note to get your minor. Okay, so we have one. The three is me, so, and then T, which is three, five, seven. So we've done one, two, three. Do, re, mi. Okay, so now the C sharp is the fourth note or the fa note. So. a major chord four is always a major chord so I'm playing um, the four the six and then the one four six one is the same as fa la and then do So let's move on to the fifth note. The fifth note is also a major note, like the four and then the one. So you build a major chord on the fifth note. Okay. So you have the fifth note, the seven note, and then the two note. So, so, T, R, five, seven, two. Okay, this is um, the sixth note, and then the sixth is a minor chord. So you build a minor chord on the six. We've already done key F. So to this is the major chord for key F. You only flatten the middle, the third note, and then you have your minor chord for the sixth note. So it's six, one, three. this is our seventh note and we always build a seventh uh, a diminished chord on the seventh note so you stand here you, you count three steps one two three one two three becomes your diminished all right so you form that same chord here and then back to one so so far this is what we've learned that's chord one
So that will be all for this lesson. Thank you for watching and uh, don't forget to subscribe. In our next lesson, we're going to be talking about the code inversions of what we've learned so far. God bless you.